Hello, today I'm gonna explain about this novel, Laut Bercerita by Leila Sarika Chudori, or in English version is called The Sea Speaks His Name. But let me introduce myself first. Hi, my name is Andini Sosabila Maharani from Class D Introduction to Literature. Like I said before, I'm gonna explain a little bit about this novel, of course, from literary point of view. At the beginning of the story, we have started with a quote from Sutarji's poetry. It sounds, Matilah kau mati, maka kau akan lahir berkali-kali. This poetry is what motivates Laut and his activist friends to express their views. However, their actions are restricted by the government. Their resistance ended in pursuit and arrest. Some of them never returned, leaving feeling of guilt for the victims who were sent back to their families. The poetry can also mean that their bodies are indeed dead, but their souls will live with the truth in our hearts. This quote from the poetry begins the story of Peter Laut and how cruel the government at that time. This novel is built in two story plots with two main characters, Bill Laut and Asmara Jati, his sister. The plot taught us about struggle and betrayal, the struggle against authoritarian power and how the pressure from the ruler to maintain his power with his arbitrariness, they intimidate people without a sense of humanity. Also about betrayal that can come at any time and from anyone. The female character, Asmara Jati, or Birolaut's sister in this novel also play a very important role. She teaches us about loss as well as denial, specifically about how Birolaut's parents, after Birolaut and 12 other activists were forcibly removed by the ruler. Her parents trap and drown in their own illusion and deny that their children will never return. Asmara Jati tried so hard to get her parents out of their illusion and face the reality that Birolaut is gone and will never return ironic and sad at the same time. In the novel, Biro Laut has a close friend that he called Sang Penyair. He tells how poetry and drama scripts are not only composed of a series of beautiful words, but words that have a spirit to strike our consciousness to think and move. He also said that we can't do nothing, even through literature or theater or other arts. The other poem that describes one of important events in this novel is Sajak Songok Jagung by W.S. Rendra. This social critical poem explains about the forced eviction of land owned by farmers in Blangwon village, which would be used for the purposes of the military training field for TNT. The activists of Minatra and Nurasena were also involved in assisting the residents of Blangwon village as form of their concern for the small people who received injustice from the government's decision in the Orde Baru era. The movement carried out by the activists was only based on enthusiasm, personal money, and donation from several individuals who are secretly fed up with the Order Baru government, which is getting more and more repressive from year to year. Sajak Songok Jagung can also mean limited possessions that are meaningless to life. Meanwhile, a younger generation who is not educated means that they doesn't have an adequate education. This novel also talks about social criticism issues, for instance, poverty, crime, and population problems. Social criticism of poverty problems in the novel is aimed to government of the Ordo Baru era, which is unable to deal with the problems of poverty. The other issue is regarding the crime problem. It was aimed at the cruel action of the government by kidnapping and torturing activists, who is considered treating the Ordo Baru regime. In this novel, I would like to remind you of the fact that the history of this nation's survival had a dark historical space. A historical epic novel about the truth of the missing activists are still up in the air, even until now. Also about the psychological effects of the victim's family left behind by their child, husband, and lover which until now has not been disclosed. But we must not drift and sink into that one dark wound. But the deaths of these activists serves as a reminder for those of us who are still sitting comfortably here to continue to fight injustice against forgetting. I'm really grateful that I can live in this era. Also, there's still a lot of problems happening because the price of obtaining this era, the reformation, 
when freedom of speech was protected was neither easy nor cheap. We have to eat a lot of victims of rulers so that we can enter a phase where we can freely express ourselves. The word against at that time could be paid with the loss of life. I think that's all from me. Thanks for watching.